Welcome to the unboxing video for the Quantum Systems Trinity F90 Plus drone. Uh, this drone is a, a fixed wing VTOL, so in other words, it takes off vertically and lands vertically. Uh, it comes in a ruggedized box. Um, you can see it's a canvas cover uh, with a dual zip system, a shoulder strap for easy carrying uh, for a single person. opens up like this. The first thing you see is two A4 glossy uh, pages just showing the kit contents and how to unpack it. It's really just the main items. It's not down to the cable level, um, but, it, but it shows you how to unpack it without damaging the equipment. Um, one thing to note, the, the first thing to see is the documentation that comes with the system. Okay, just going through it one at a time. Uh, this is a quick guide for the software that comes with the, uh, with the kit. A full operations manual, just showing technical specifications, um, troubleshooting options, support options, um, as well as guides to using the software, etc. Um, this one here is worth its weight in gold. It is the, the checklist or the quick guide for getting the drone into the air. Um, it's just a step-by-step -step instruction, um, basically so anybody could get it into the air at any time, although we don't advise that. And sealed package in case of a crash, um, we hope that remains sealed. Okay, the next thing you'll see is the Trinity F90 Plus battery. Um, it's actually four physically separated lithium ion batteries. Uh, the specifications are labelled on the battery itself. Uh, the main one to look at is the power output, which is 65 watt hours, um, which allows you to carry this on a commercial flight as required. To charge the battery is the Quantum Systems Trinity F90 Plus battery charger. It's pre-configured for the batteries inside and there is a customised cable that fits perfectly into the, into the battery itself and you're basically just hitting start, stop to, to charge the battery. Charging should take about an hour. Next thing is the F90 Plus remote control. Uh, there is, it's just a simple re remote control with a touch screen um, with a wizard, software wizard, just to allow you to go through the checklist and, and get the drone into the air. So the next thing to pull out is the main body uh, we sometimes refer to that as the torso for obvious reasons. Uh, it has the housing for the autopilot on top, uh, a magnetic data cable receiving port for downloading flight logs to your PC, um, larger transitioning uh, motors for the vertical takeoff and landing. Up front, we have the battery receiving bay and then underneath is the payload bay here. Okay. A separate insert for additional batteries. Uh, there is one battery standard per kit, um, which will allow you 90 minutes plus flight time. But if you want to have additional batteries, you can have up to addi uh, two additional batteries in one kit. Next item to pull out is the rear fuselage. Um, the main 
things to note on the rear fuselage are the G GNSS antenna on top. Um, you can see that it's offset to the centre. All of those offsets are accounted for in the, the processing software. This is a survey kit, so that will allow you to um, produce highly accurate results. Okay, at the back is the servo to drive the, the rear elevator, um, and this is the rear motor or rear propeller, which will transition upwards to enable the vertical takeoff and landing. Next item is the rear elevator, which all it has on it is the bottom. So we now know that that's the top. And if I just lift that up there, it just slides in, clips in easily like that. The main wings come out in two and clip in easily to the side here. Okay, and very last is the strobe lights to allow visibility for um, passing low aircraft, helicopters, as well as yourself, and they just simply clip onto the wings. Okay. Battery slides in easily like that, and it will power up. Okay, to finalise the assembly, we, we need to clip in your selected payload. The payloads come separately to the kit, um, depending on what, what your application is. There are four and now five different payload types. This one is the standard surveying payload, the Sony UMC. And to finalise your assembly, it just clips in easily like this. As standard in this hidden compartment here is the Trinity iBase uh, GNSS base station, um, which as you can see is a magnetised mount with the GNSS receiver, micro SD card, magnetic data cable, then you have the GNSS antenna, which mounts on to the receiver itself, and then this will sit over a survey mark. The last thing that's in here is the Cubase modem. So this attaches to your PC or your tablet um, and allows the telemetry between the Cubase software and the drone in flight. Okay, and to pack up, we just do the same thing in reverse. To set up on site for a flight mission, do the following steps. First of all, position the box at the takeoff location. Assemble the drone through to power up. Take out and power on the remote control. This will automatically pair with the drone. Power on and position the iBase over a known mark. Connect Cubase modem and ADSB dongle to the laptop. Start up Cubase software for flight planning. <laughs> 